How's everybody doing? My name's Mike, and we got Mr. Coda with us. He's a three-month-old German Shepherd, and uh, he's coming to me for all sorts of issues. And uh, it was, uh, you know, the typical puppy issues, dog issues, which is jumping, very excited, uh, dominant disposition. And uh, it's very interesting in the dog's home. Uh, when I was there with uh, his, I'm also be going to be getting his housemate as well in about a week. And uh, when I was in the home, the dog was very calm and relaxed. Even when I came into the home, the dog was just like laying, <laughs> laying down, relaxing. So uh, now that I brought the dog to my home, he's actually much more excited, which is actually a good thing for training. That way I can see the worst of his behavior and help him uh, through that. But he's actually very excited in my home. And this dog has no leash training. He uh, you know, he very much wants to go wherever, uh, in any direction, has no uh, sense of, you know, um, respect for the leash. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing the, uh, the first exercise I do with all the dogs I get here, which is teaching the dog to listen to the pressure of the collar. So when I go like this, I want that. Good. Good. You know, when I, I, this, I've had the dog uh, just for today. I picked him up this morning. And just getting him down here to the road before turning the camera on was a big was a big deal. The dog was trying to cross my legs up, trip me, you know, pretty much every step. And uh, it was tough because the dog doesn't understand where it's supposed to be. So now you're going to see the dog start to understand uh, what I want just from being uh, in, a, in a training area. And like I said, the, the goal of this exercise, this is going to set the dog up for a lifetime of listening to this leash instead of fighting it, biting it. This is That's also what he would do is bite uh, the leash. He was also uh, nipping the owner, which is not good. These are all dominant things. When the dog gets big, it's going to become a very real issue and can turn into real bites. And if the dog does that to the owner, the dog is most certainly going to bite other people and take it upon themselves to bite other people for other things rather than just a a dominance bite so enough of that let's go ahead and uh, get him rolling again I'm gonna walk back and forth and just get the dog to listen to the leash and keep it loose and that's gonna set the dog up for a lifetime of a loose leash and uh, listening to the leash and only having tension on that leash when uh, we want something from the dog good so you see I'm telling the dog good when it when uh, when he comes my way Atta a boy, good boy. So if he hits the end of the leash right here, tug, tug, good. You see him do a little skip. That means he felt the, he felt the tug. Good boy, good job. You see how the leash is right here? This is what we want. Good boy. And right now the idea is we're not expecting much from him. Good job. Good boy, good. We're not expecting much from him. Good. See that right there? Good. So I don't want him to pass me up. If he does, I can just, what I should have done is just come the other way, just like this. Good, good. I want to expect very little of the dog. He's a puppy, right? He doesn't know anything yet. So, right? Good. He's doing that on his own. He's keeping the uh, leash loose. This is very important for the dog to start to understand uh, what we want. I want the dog on my left side. That's where the dog's heel is going to be. Um, the dog's doing very good. Uh, the dog very much fought the leash at first. This is probably the third time we did this exercise. and But you see how quick they learn. You just have to have some direction, know where you're going, and implement it and encourage the dog when they do good. And you have to discourage them in a way they trust, understand, and respect. And the way I'm doing that is through the leash. You can see when the dog gets a tug on the leash, the dog comes more in my direction. And uh, uh, before the dog was just kind of looking everywhere and having no mind of who was at the end of the leash. And like I said, the dog was crossing my, coming through my legs, tripping me up every step. And now you can see the dog's much more aware of where I am. Right there, you see that was the correction. Good, good, good. Good boy, good. That's what, the, that's what we want. We want him, want him to understand that you come with me. I don't follow you. You you come you come with me. So he's looking at a car. That's okay. It's good. We want to we want him to see a distraction and then be able to ignore it. Good job, buddy. Good. Good boy. Good. So that's it. I'm gonna end the exercise right there. He did a really he did a really good job. And uh, you know the dog. You want to expect very little of a three month old puppy. That's why the only thing I ex I want the dog to start learning is hey. 
when when we're outside you got to pay attention to where I am and uh, if you feel a little tension I want you to pay attention to that and go in that direction listen to that pressure don't fight it don't bite the leash you, this is your friend this is how I'm gonna get you through things